I'm Mark Rental, Product Manager and Pro Shooter for Colt Firearms. We're going to talk about reassembling your 1911 from its field strip configuration. First thing I do is I take the slide and the bell. The bell goes from the front of the slide in and it will actually drop in and lock into place. Now I take my barrel bushing in which the locking nub is in the up position, slide it into the frame, turn it 180 degrees and it's locked in place. Next I take my recoil spring guide and set it in the slide area. My recoil spring, slide it from the front of the slide to the rear to put it in place. Now I take my frame, I prefer to hold it upright because of the 80 series fire mechanism, it, won't, it keeps it down so the slide will slide on the gun properly. Take my slide, the only thing I do make sure of is this link here is my barrel link and I want it to be in the down position when I rotate the slide in the proper position which is this. Take my frame and I make the slide and the frame together, slide it on. Now what I'm going to do is take my slide stop and put it in the slide stop hole. I actually pull on the barrel a little bit to make sure that it went through the barrel link. I align my takedown notch with the window in the frame, push the slide stop in, I bring the slide forward, put the thumb safety on so it locks the slide in place. Now I turn the gun up on its backside, take the recoil spring plug, insert it into the slide, turn my bushing, it'll lock itself in place. Rack the slide a few times to make sure that the gun functions properly. So that's all we have to do in order to take our field strip parts, reassemble the gun, now we're ready to go shooting.